Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, Queen of All the Trade. It's your girl, my supermodel. And today I have your two-day forecast for November the 28th and November the 29th. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, please do so so that you guys can get more content. So you guys can get the content whenever I upload videos, okay? Um, if you guys need a personal reading, you guys can contact me. Um, if you guys need a personal reading, you guys can contact me. Um, all of my information is in the description below. Okay, so without further ado, let's get on with the message. Holy Spirit, it is my message to you here for my Leo subscribers. For the November 28th, What messages do you have for my Leo subscribers for November 28th? Let's just look at the Leos from November the 28th and the 29th. Strength wanted to show itself. Some of you guys need to have um, have courage and strength in the situation that you're going through right now. Yeah, strength wanted to show itself. It doesn't have the ten of swords. But some of you guys do need to have courage, your faith, and have strength, okay? Because you may be going through something that is very um, burdensome to, to you. Something that, um, something that you can't... Um, Something that's too much for you to handle, okay? Um, but I see that you are embodying this. Um, some of you are embodying this uh, Queen of Wands energy, okay? Um, very, uh, very passionate, you know, going after what it is that you want in a very passionate way. Okay, some of you guys are balancing and juggling. Um, two ideas or two people or, you know, two different things at this time. And that could be a burden, okay? You get passionate for two people, okay? And that could be a burden. It could be too much for you to handle, Leo. I mean, Libra. What is this two of pentacles about? Yeah, and we got justice again. So you're trying to balance something out. You're trying to gain some type of truth. Okay, you just want things to be balanced. Um, and you're trying to gain some type of truth. You want something to be just in this situation. You're trying to get a victory. Okay, you're trying to get a victory in this situation. Or some type of recognition. Yeah, and there's a new opportunity and love coming towards you. Maybe you want to offer a new opportunity and love towards someone else, but you can't because maybe the person that you want to offer this love situation to, um, maybe they, you know, maybe they have, have negative energy, okay? Um, maybe the energy is toxic, okay? You could be wanting to offer um, a new romantic, starting a new romantic opportunity, with um, a Capricorn, okay? Well, somebody wants to make an offer to you, but they see that, you know, the situation is toxic, okay? Because maybe they see that you are balancing something, okay? Because something is a burden. Why is this Ten of Wands here? 
Why is this Ten of Wands here for Libra? Yeah, it could be a burden because there could be some toxic um, energies. You know, there could be sexual addictions. Um, any, it could be anything. And we have the magician here, okay? And we have the um, the high priestess clarifying the ten of wands. So basically, um, you know, you feel a burden about something, okay? And it's safe for you to use your intuition, okay, and manifest, you know, use your intuition so that you can manifest what it is that you want to manifest, and what you're trying to manifest is some type of balance, okay, and stability. You're trying to manifest stability, you're trying to manifest, you know, love, you know, within a toxic situation, okay, you have a lot of passion for somebody that you're ready to go after, and you want to be victorious in the situation, okay. Also, there could have been some secrets, you know, that came out, okay, which is causing a burden, okay, and the hermit came out too, so some of you guys need to go within, okay, and listen to your inner self in order to come out of this burdensome situation. Why is this devil here? Why is the devil here? Okay, all these cards when they come out, so we're gonna read them all. So basically, we have the King of Swords. Okay, so um, you could have been doing something in a very reckless way. There's a lot of negative um energy, people moving too quick in the situation. You could have moved too quick, passionately you know, with somebody, okay, um, yeah, you move too quick in a partnership, okay, with somebody, you offer this person your cup of love, okay, you was really passionate about this person, um, but she moved too fast, okay, and that's why it was toxic, because you didn't give the relationship a chance to actually, um, you didn't get the partnership a chance to actually, flourish, you know, you just moved in, you moved in really quick, okay, and you was thinking with your hormones, with this queen of wands and this devil card being here together, you was thinking with your hormones, okay, and you rushed into this partnership with this knight of, um, with this knight of swords and this two of cups, okay, and now you're feeling some type of loss or regret, regret, you know, about it, and it's causing you some type of burden, because this person was your wish, okay? This person made you happy, okay? And some of you guys are feeling lost of regret and, um, you know, it's sad and it's a burden and it's causing you to drink, you know, with these cups up here, these chalices. It's causing you to drink, you know, because we got the devil energy all around and it's causing you to drink about, drink your sorrows away, okay? Because you rushed so quickly into this relationship, okay? And then you're trying to protect yourself at the same time. You're drinking. If something happened where you even wish that you protected yourself, but you ain't used no protection with this person, you probably wish that you used protection, or you're trying to protect yourself against something like this happening to you again. Because some secrets was revealed, okay, and it's causing you to go within. And, um, it's causing you to go within and look at yourself and listen to your higher self in a different way. You know, go within and listen to your intuition with this um, high priestess and the um, magician and the hermit together. Okay? And it's saying that you have to have strength, okay? And courage. Like I said, this card came out first. This is the first card I mentioned, but I didn't ever say it because I was going to wait for it to come back out. And of course, it came back out again. So you guys have to have the strength, okay? And the, have the strength because things will turn around, okay? You know, things will balance out. You know, the truth will be revealed, okay? We have the high priestess here. 
the truth will be revealed once you go within, okay, and, um, and look at yourself, and it will be a victory, okay, things will be stable, okay, you'll be confident in the end, you'll get this victory, things will be much more stable in your situation, okay, the mind games, you know, um, there won't be no mind games being played, okay, you'll gain mental truth and clarity, and it will be a victory, okay, it will be a victory, the cycle will change, okay? The cycle will end. Things will come to a completion. This is something that's going to come to a completion, okay? But you have to go within and look at yourself, okay? Because you was being too quick in this situation. Like, you was making moves too fast. And that's why I ended up being toxic. And the burden. You was moving too quick. Yeah, and then you're going to be moving forward, you know, to victory, Okay? You're going to be moving forward to victory. You're going to be moving away from this toxic energy and situation. Let's see what the romance angels got to say. All oh, these sort of messages do you have to leave for us? What messages do you have to leave for We have passion. It says, allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. Okay, I think you did that already. <laughs> I think you was way too passionate. Like I said, you in this passionate, you in this passionate energy. Okay, you feeling very passionate about this person. But this person isn't good for you. Like, you moving way too quick in this partnership. And even though this person is your wish, you know, even though this person is your wish, there was some pain and sorrow dealing with this person, okay? Because there's a lot of toxicity around it, okay? And that's why you on guard, and but it's telling you to have strength, okay. But you can go ahead and have the passion with this person if you want. What I'm saying is, is slow down and don't move too quick. I see that you do have a lot of passion for this person, and some of y'all need to set yourselves free from the situation, okay, so that you guys can move forward to something better, okay, to something that's much more fulfilling, okay, to a partnership that's much more fulfilling. Some of you guys need to free yourselves from this um, toxic energy, okay? What other messages do we have to leave her for the next two days, please? Thank you. Okay, they don't have any messages for y'all today. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so you guys need to free yourself. And um, you probably need to free yourself from all these passionate thoughts that you have for this person, you know. Um, because you're moving too fast. I say that you're ready to move quick to this person, okay? But it's negative energy there, okay? So just be careful, okay? And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. If this video resonates with you, then comment down below and let me know if it resonated or just give it a like. And um, if it didn't resonate, just give it a like anyway. And uh, <laughs> if you guys need to contact me for a personal, um, all my contact information is down in the description below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.